Hi there, everybody. It's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Helsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm playing with my favourite stamp set now, Zany Zoo, and I'm going to be creating this ballet cheetah card. Who knew cheetahs did ballet? So here's the Zany Zoo stamp set. Like I said, I fell in love with it. I think it's really cute and I'm going to be playing with this cheetah today. Um, I think I did one the other day and I announced that it was a leopard, but I've now decided it's definitely a cheetah. I mean, I know it's a character. I know it's a cartoon sort of drawing of one, but I've looked at the shape of the head of both a leopard and a cheetah and I generally think this is a cheetah so I've, I've probably gone a little bit above and beyond with this <laughs> so I've stamped her with memento ink and now I'm going to be getting my blends and colouring her in now I'm using two of our new colours here I'm using wild wheat and pecan pie now the main thing with this is I'm not using the light and dark so I'm just using the light of each one and that's fine you don't have to always use the light and dark of each shade. You can blend over whichever shade you want to and blend them in together. And this one here works really nice because her spots do need to be a lot darker than the rest of her fur. So I've used pecan pie at the centre of her nose, in her ears, and then on all of the spots. And I'm going over it with wild wheat and I'm going to be going over the pecan pie as well. I'm not missing it. I'm going around the whole thing and colouring her in. I think this is one of the reasons I love this stamp set as well. It lets me blend and I like blending. And the colours in it lend to the new colours, which I haven't used very much. So it's basically hitting all the boxes for me at the moment. And that's why you're probably going to see it on my site quite a little bit. Now, this is Bubble Bath, light and dark. So I'm actually using the coordinating colours with this one. So I'm using the dark on the tips of her toes because she's got her little ballet slippers on and also around her tutu. And now I'm coming in with the light um, Bubble Bath and I'm going around the edge, blending it all in together. And then I'm also going to do it on the straps of her shoes as well. Finally, I'm going to be using this is the new oh lemon lolly I, I forgot the name lemon lolly and lost lagoon and it's the dark lemon lolly which was the yellow and the light lost lagoon which is the green and these are all new colors as well hence the fact i wasn't quite quick on what it was called so i'm going to be cutting this out now there are dies but you can also fussy cut and here we are one i made earlier isn't she just adorable we need to think of a name for her um I don't know, I'll have a think as I'm going through. This is the new two and three eighths of an inch circle punch. This is in the new catalogue as well, which is absolutely great. Love a good circle punch. And she's going to sit on there like that. And this is the bubble bath cardstock. This is that new colour and it's just beautiful. If you knew our pinks before, we had like a corally pink and a dirty pink. This is like a fresh, clean baby pink and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, when you look at it in the catalogue, or when you look at it, the colour that comes on the top of the ink pad, it looks more of a purple. It's not. It's pure pink. It's beautiful. So I've just stuck her down with some dimensionals there. And now I'm going to be using my embossing folders. So these are the mini embossing folders and they're the textured backgrounds. And this is the sort of stripy one. And you can see I'm just positioning it in the middle of my cardstock. So my cardstock is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8. So it's exactly the same size as the card base. The mini embossing folders are slightly narrower. So what I've done is I've balanced it in the middle. That will emboss purely a panel in the middle and not the edges like that. So it gives this sort of fun effect up the middle and just creates a bit more texture and dimension. I genuinely really love this folder, but I really like it when I use it on slightly bigger cardstock so you get the flatness at the sides as well. I just think it's an extra, extra level. So I'm popping myself a bit of adhesive down. I've done it in a kiss cross. And now I'm just rolling some of the silver elegant twine around. Now, by doing it in a cross, it means you can actually feed the twine around in quite even circles, which is quite nice. 
and everything is sort of going to stick in the place you want to. But make sure the cross isn't any bigger than what you're going to be putting on top. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on the circle that's got our cheetah on. But she's going to cover all of that adhesive and the start part of the loops. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals in the gaps that I want to keep as a gap. I want to keep the loop there. So I'm popping the dimensionals in there. And then I'm going to take the back end of those and then I'm going to stick her down. It's a really good way of keeping the twine in the right place and making sure everything sticks right. Stick her down. Isn't she beautiful? I love her. And then a sentiment. So I've chosen this one. Um, there are a few sentiments in this set. And this one here is just a smaller stamp set. So it says, you're too wonderful, but it's a nice size. So I'm going to be inking this up. I'm going to stamp it down on a piece of scrap basic white. And you can see it's a banner piece. Um, it's just a bit of scrap that I got off one of my cuttings. I keep a little box of scraps by the side of my desk. And then I'm just going to be popping this onto the card and I'm going to flag it. I love a good flag. So that's where you go diagonally. You do a cut up the center and then take both edges in to meet it. And I'm going to stick it in from the side and there we go. You are too wonderful. What a cool saying. Sticking it up on some dimensionals, popping it down so it just touches her toesies. And there we are. What a lovely card. So I'm going to stick this onto my card base now. I keep myself card bases on the side. Um, so I'm just grabbing those. And I'll put some embellishments on as well. These are our rhinestones. Um, they've been around forever. They're just a basic project that, product that I have in. And I obviously need to order some more. So I'll have to get some on order. I've just popped three of those on. And then she'll sit flush onto a card base. She's cut the exact same size. 10.5 centimetres by 14.8, which is an A6 cardstock um, base size. And I'm just sticking her down with some tape runner. And she'll stick flat on there. What do you think? Oh, I love her. I love this new colour, Bubble Bath. I think it's amazing. I do enjoy the other two colours as well. But I just think this stamp set is just too cute. Isn't it? What do you think? Zany Zoo. And here's the finished project. Thank you for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Everything I've used today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop me a like or leave me a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and come back for more content. I also have an Instagram page that I'm trying to grow at the same time. It's at Slim and Stylish and every like or follow helps. Thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Bye.